Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sylvalyn Hammond, your honest veterinary friend, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of client education and communication in the veterinary healthcare space. So come with me and join me on my day. One of the most common issues that veterinarians face is the battle with Dr. Google. Now, I am the first to admit that whenever anything is wrong with myself um, or my son, I like to get on Google and start immediately looking up what can be wrong and whether or not I should worry about it. Now, this can be a blessing and a curse at the same time. Oftentimes with pet patients, parents are misdiagnosing their animals on Google, which gives them kind of misled expectations when they come into the veterinary clinic. It can cause them to even delay care that their pets might need by falsely believing that what they're seeing isn't as serious. A good example of this is that oftentimes when dogs have very sharp abdominal pain, they don't walk well with their back legs. And we get a lot of clients who call and say, hey, my dog's back legs aren't working. I think they hurt their back. Um, and that can be misleading because then if you go on Google and you type in my dog has back pain, that's gonna be very, very different than my dog has acute abdominal pain. We see a similar situation in cats. Um, when cats have an emergency where they can't urinate, uh, they build up toxic metabolites in their body and they start vomiting. And then some people will think, okay, my cat is vomiting. And that's the problem when in reality, it's not even related to the gastrointestinal system. Their issues are with the urinary tract. So it's great to go on Google and do some preliminary research, but it's even better to contact your veterinarian and discuss the symptoms that you're seeing at home. So that your veterinarian can use your pet's history, their signalment, and all the medical information they already have about them to help make a better informed approach to their care. This will help ensure that you're not accidentally misdiagnosing your pet with something at home that they may or may not have, or perhaps delaying care that they might need. Veterinarians should remain the trusted advisors for pet parents, not just Dr. Google. So after I finished veterinary school, I did find it a little bit surprising when I would talk to people and I was met with doubt and skepticism. People really wanted to make sure I knew what I was talking about and I found how important it was to communicate with my clients clearly. I also was on the social media space and was constantly running into so many misinformed posts. It was starting to drive me crazy. So in February of 2020, I started my own online social media presence on Instagram, calling myself the honest vet. I love what I do and I love teaching every day. And now I feel like I'm getting to teach people all about pets all around the world. And it's so much fun. I'm having such a great time doing it and I really encourage other people to do it as well.